Today we're getting into the latest Tesla news, including first Model Y deliveries out of Berlin, Model Y sold out, production Model Ys spotted outside of Giga Texas, new Model Y features unveiled, and more, so let's get into it. First up today, Tesla has been named the most trusted brand for developing fully autonomous vehicles. Tesla has been at the forefront of self-driving for a long time, largely because they are shipping autopilot in more cars than other brands, with that feature coming standard in every car they now sell. They also offer their package called Full Self-Driving. While this package doesn't deliver what the name says, they are hard at work on the beta with the goal of achieving full autonomy with software and AI neural network training. With them being at the forefront, we see a lot of criticism of them as well, so many would assume that the public doesn't trust them. However, the public does. In a new study by Auto Pacific, Tesla had the highest percentage of consumer trust, with 32% answering Tesla to the question of, quote, what brands do you trust most to develop safe and reliable fully autonomous vehicles? Next up was Toyota with 19%, BMW with 18%, and Chevy with 16%. One interesting note about this is that, quote, perhaps not surprisingly, the younger the consumer, the more who trust Tesla, while the older the consumer, the higher the trust swing for Toyota. Reportedly, the most reluctant group to want fully autonomous vehicles are people above 60. Another funny note from this survey is that Apple, who is only rumored to be making an autonomous vehicle, happened to be placed sixth with 13% of the vote. Even though Tesla makes the news a lot for their self-driving controversies, it seems the general public puts their trust in them, and it will be important for them going forward into more self-driving technologies. Regarding Tesla's full self-driving beta, they are expanding the release of FSD to Canada this week, according to Elon on Musk, so that should be seen soon. Next up today, Tesla's newest factory, Giga Berlin, which has been in the works for quite some time, is finally open. After holding their Giga Berlin Fair all the way back in October of 2021, production still caught a number of snags and delays from many different sources. Tesla sent out official invites to this delivery day a couple weeks ago, and the event officially took place. Just yesterday, Tesla held their delivery event as promised and handed over the first 30 Berlin-made Model Ys to customers. Of course, this event was complete with Elon Musk dancing, but at that event, we saw a lot more of the completed factory as well. Here's a photo of a Berlin-made performance Model Y, as well as the art Tesla is putting on the exterior of the factory. Inside, the delivery event was huge and seems a little bit like a second version of the Giga Berlin Fair. This time, however, they're delivering cars. Tobias Lind took all of these photos, including this one, showcasing the first few Model Ys, complete with license plates signifying their status. At the event, a pretty amazing video showcasing the production line and flying around the factory was being played. In it, we can see see cars off the production line, cars in production, as well as a full zoom out over the entire factory building itself. Elon Musk was there giving a speech and handing over first Model Ys to happy customers, and Tesla posted their own video on Instagram celebrating the occasion. They show the eighth Model Y coming off the line and an early customer taking delivery of their black performance Model Y. This is a big deal for Tesla because while this factory will still take a little bit of time to fully scale, this adds an entirely new upgraded factory to the two they currently ship cars from. They now have Giga Shanghai and Fremont fully operational and Giga Berlin operational and starting to scale production. For now, at Giga Berlin, these are normal Model Ys, shipping with 2170 battery cells. But soon over in Texas, they will be delivering first Model Ys with 4680 batteries. More on that in a second, because at Giga Berlin, Tesla is shipping the Model Y with a couple of new features. These features don't make a huge difference as far as the production or foundation of the vehicle, but they will make a big difference for some consumers. We've seen for a while now that Tesla is working on an OEM cargo cover, but we haven't seen this upgrade actually make its way to production in the US. Apparently, it's in production in China, but it's still hard to track down that info aside from a couple of articles claiming it is standard based on this user manual. Now it looks like Tesla is finally adding a cargo cover to the Model Y out of Giga Berlin along with cargo hooks. This is standard on the car from the start of production. These photos taken at the Giga Berlin delivery event showcase the cargo cover. We can see that it will hide your cargo and keep cargo from flying into the cabin in the event of an accident, which ultimately are the two things people look for in this feature. This second photo showcases it folded forward, making it slightly easier to utilize the space back there. We can also see the track that it's sitting on, which until now has not been included on any production model wise. Another entirely new feature is cargo hooks, allowing you to secure various cargo with anything you'd like to attach via hook. We can see another photo of the cargo hook here, and it looks to be in the rear where the side cubby is. We've seen Model Y cargo hooks pop up in the owner's manual before, but we haven't heard much else, so these are the best photos we've seen of these features yet. As always with Tesla, if these features are coming to the Model Y at a different factory, it's only a matter of time before that feature is standardized in Model Y production across the board. In any case, first delivery 
deliveries happened at Giga Berlin, and here's some video of the very first Model Y being handed over inside the factory. Clearly, everyone is very excited, and then there's another video showcasing a newly delivered Model Y driving away from the factory. It's a big milestone for Tesla, but it's just one of two factories they're opening shortly. They really need to open up new factories in order to get more production underway, because demand continues to accelerate for the Model Y. As gas prices are rising and Tesla's own prices are rising, more people are finally taking the plunge into electric cars, and now the Model Y is officially sold out for the remainder of 2022. If you configure a base Model Y with the stock wheels, which is what I always recommend, Tesla now quotes a delivery timeline of January 2023. That's about a 10 month wait to get your hands on a Model Y after ordering, and it just shows how significantly backed up Tesla continues to be. Demand for this car is insane, and checking inventory will show you that there is never anything available. That's a reason as well that Tesla is driving up prices, because they are pricing out a Model Y built in January of 2023, not one built today. They are looking forward and seeing how much prices are going to keep increasing. Other brands are promising cheaper cars, but you'll often find them marked up by the dealer. For example, I was interested in the Ionic 5 this week and decided to just give a dealer a call to see firsthand what the price would be. Before receiving any pricing, I was told $10,000 above MSRP. So while a price from $62,990 is a lot on the Model Y, at least you know what it is instead of planning for a cheaper car and getting a huge surprise dealer markup. In any case, there are ways to get a faster estimated delivery date for your Model Y, and they all include upgrades. Upgrading paint for something that costs extra will improve your delivery time, upgrading to performance will do so, upgrading to white interior will move it to October, and so will changing wheels. Then the way to get your Model Y the quickest is to add FSD, but again, I don't feel that package is worth anywhere near $12,000. Ultimately, I find the base Model Y to be the best value and include the best features, and many do as well, leading it to being backed up until January of 2023 and sold out for 2022. Tesla is in the process of being able to make more cars, and next up will be at Giga Texas. Tesla has now received their official approval to hold a Giga Texas fair, similar to what they did in Berlin in October. Reportedly, Travis County approved the GigaFest party for April 7th from 4 to 11.30 p.m. They are planning for about 15,000 people with shuttle buses, security, fireworks, two stages, and more. It's still unclear how they are handling invites, but hopefully they are expanding invites past just people in Texas. According to Elon Musk, people in that area will have priority, so we'll see what happens next. It's still unclear if this Giga Texas Festival will mark the opening of the factory and first deliveries of cars there, but the opening of Giga Texas is a big deal as well, because not only is Tesla going to be opening up their fourth factory, they'll be shipping a brand new battery cell form factor. This is their brand new 4680 battery cell that they unveiled at Battery Day all the way back in September of 2020. This new battery cell is supposed to help bring costs down and improve range, but for the start of production with those batteries, Tesla is still scaling up. This is leading to what all rumors are pointing to, a new standard range 4680 Model Y shipping first out of Giga Texas. The EPA has officially granted approval of a new Model Y variant to Tesla, and this variant is all-wheel drive with a 279 mile range. This is far lower than the 330 mile EPA range Tesla currently ships on their base Model Y, so all signs are pointing to this being a new product they may introduce. The standard range Model Y they briefly shipped included a 244 mile range, which was below the standard that Elon Musk wanted, so they ended up canceling that car in most markets. The standard range Model 3 gets an EPA range of 272 miles, so this new 279 mile range Model Y would surely fit the standard. It would also give Tesla a chance to ship more cars with a popular cheaper option and scale appropriately at Giga Texas as they work up their own battery cell manufacturing. The details on this are still unclear, but now a new Giga Texas made Model Y was spotted in the wild for the first time. We've seen plenty of Model Ys made at Giga Texas in various colors, sitting outside the factory, but this time, one was spotted at a nearby supercharger. These photos were posted by at Sir Tesla and showcase a blue Model Y built at Giga Texas. They were able to tell by looking at the VIN and using a VIN decoder. Overall, we can't tell much from these photos other than Tesla is making standard Gemini wheels on the Model Y at Texas. This is something they're not doing as far as we can tell at Giga Berlin yet. They typically ship performance models first, so this could be another sign that Tesla is going forward with an all-wheel drive standard range Model Y first at Giga Texas before getting to performance models. It's extremely likely that the Model Y here has a structural battery pack of 4680 cells, a standard range size battery pack, all-wheel drive, and even the cargo cover now shipping in Berlin. 
Next up, for Tesla's most expensive car, the Model X, first five-seater deliveries have begun. The refreshed Model X has shipped incredibly slowly, and the priority seems to be so far on six-seater plaid models. I got to check one of those out, and it's an amazing car. You can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. But Tesla has now shipped a five-seater long-range Model X. We can tell that this is the refreshed models with these photos, and then we can see the seats are a 60-40 split with the two seats on the driver's side and one on the other side. Ultimately, this gives a lot more cargo space in the rear if a solid amount of trunk space is ultimately what you're looking for. This photo has the trunk hook folded out, and here it is folded in. Depending on your use, having the choice of a five, six, or seven seat interior in the Model X is great, but Tesla now only ships the Plaid model with six seats. As far as the reasoning for this, there's likely a production reason with the Plaid powertrain, but it also seems to be what Elon Musk likes the most. In response to an article about the five-seater Model X, he tweeted saying, quote, the six-seat Model X is best in my opinion. There are times when I only want to offer that variant. I actually agree with him based on the functionality of the six-seater. It really utilizes the vehicle space well, but for many people, they need other options. Many people need more rear cargo space or need to fit seven people in the car. Otherwise, they'll have to go with an entirely different vehicle and won't be able to go electric. Next up today, Elon Musk has begun the process of laying out his third master plan. If you're unfamiliar with Elon Musk's master plans, they so far have been related to Tesla and how they plan to grow. His original master plan was written and posted in 2006. The title was The Secret Tesla Motors Master Plan, Just Between You and Me. It was a blog post written by Elon Musk, and it detailed their plan to build a sports car, the original Roadster, use that money to build an affordable car, the Model S, use that money to build an even more affordable car, the Model 3, and while doing the above, provide zero emission electric power generation options. Ultimately, looking back 16 years later, Tesla has achieved their master plan. They did exactly what Elon Musk laid out. They just aren't quite at the even more affordable number that most actually want to see. They did make each of those cars though, at each of those price points, and they sell Tesla solar options for energy generation. In Elon Musk's master plan two, he reiterated part one, saying that, quote, the first master master plan that I wrote 10 years ago is now in the final stages of completion. At that time, they were nearing the release of the Model 3, and they succeeded there after he wrote this in 2016. The summary of Master Plan Part 2 is to, quote, create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments, develop a self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than manual via massive fleet learning, enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. This this master plan was heavily laid out on Autonomy Day that Tesla held in April of 2019. Overall, this plan hasn't really been achieved. They haven't managed to expand to all major segments, they don't have full self-driving yet, and your car can't go out and make money for you, but they do make their solar roof integrated with power walls. They still have a lot of work ahead for that plan, but now Elon Musk said, quote, working on master plan part three. As far as what this plan will include, it's much more than a Tesla plan. He said, quote, main Tesla subjects will be scaling to extreme size, which is needed to shift humanity away from fossil fuels and AI. But I will also include sections about SpaceX, Tesla, and The Boring Company. Tesla is on the path to scaling to extreme size, it just takes a long time. However, with their battery production plans and two new factories opening this very year, they will make significant progress in the short term. That's great for Tesla as a whole and the eventual reveal of a $25,000 Tesla or $35,000 Tesla or whatever it may be by then. Once this whole plan gets released, the main points will surely be taken in about SpaceX going to Mars, Cars, Tesla and the Boring Company helping ease traffic with tunnels, the Tesla bot running production and more, but ultimately people will likely miss some things. This master plan might come out and make everyone think that Elon is distracted from making an affordable electric car, but at the end of the day, Tesla is scaling as fast as they can and faster than any other company making electric cars. They will continue to do so, and we should see that, as well as far-reaching AI plans like the Tesla bot in Elon Musk's master plan part three. Last up today, a couple updates about other EVs coming to market. The the very first Cadillac Lyric has rolled off the assembly line in Tennessee. This is the first EV that GM is shipping with their Ultium platform. Regarding the factory itself, quote, GM's Spring Hill Manufacturing Complex, which consists of a vehicle assembly plant, metal stamping plant, and engine plant, is the largest GM facility in North America. The complex opened in 1990 and has built more than 4.5 million vehicles. The Cadillac Lyric has already been very popular and sold out within 19 minutes of GM opening reservations. This showed how much GM still underestimates 
demand, and GM plans to open up their order books on May 19th for more orders of this car. Cadillac says that orders placed then might not get delivered until 2023, which is expected. It's great to see a promising EV come out, and hopefully Cadillac can make enough of these cars to truly see them on the road soon. For Ford with their F-150 Lightning, some exciting updates were just announced. For one, the base model F-150 Lightning, which is supposed to start at just $40,000, has received an official EPA rating of 230 miles and 68 miles per gallon electric equivalent. This is only about 2 to 3% less efficient than the Rivian R1T, which is very impressive to see from Ford with a larger truck. Obviously as well, all electric cars are also far more efficient than gasoline trucks. For the long range F-150 Lightning though, EPA ratings have come in, confirming a range of 320 miles on the extended range battery. That will be possible on the XLT, Lariat, and Pro trims, and the Platinum trim will receive 300 miles of range. Ford is prepping for first F-150 Lightning deliveries this year, and again, hopefully they can scale this truck up fast enough to meet demand. Overall, everywhere, EV prices have been going up, so we'll see if they can truly sell the Lightning starting at $40,000 or not, and how long it takes for that base model to truly become available. That's all the latest Tesla news for today, so in the meantime, if you want to see a video about the truth about Tesla's range, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.